Hello, welcome. Welcome to day eight. I had to actually think about that. How many hands are fingers? Hands, fingers are needed on the other um, hand. Oh, I'm back to work. I'm back fully to um, NHS work. I am absolutely shattered tonight. I don't know where, uh, um, why I'm so tired. But I did know meat. I have not had a bit of meat uh, um, past my mouth today. The only, well, I had milk. So this is what I said about, uh, um, I'm doing it gradually. So if anybody, because I, I, I don't like milk. That's the weird thing is I don't like milk. But I have to have milk in my tea. So at the moment I have like the bob milk because I quite I have like the semi skimmed is no the skimmed is just too watery for me, but the semi skimmed is too sweet for me. So I've gone over to this bob, um, and you probably know all about it. Um, but. I want an alternative. I've tried soya milk before and I didn't like it. So is there another alternative? Because if there is one out there, um, I only have it in my tea. That's it. That's the only milk I have. So I'd be really interested in that. And also I had some eggs this morning. I had two eggs because I'm trying to keep my protein up. And normally what happens is, is I go out on my rounds without having anything. And people, it's like weird, isn't it? Like you have two sides of the coin. So some people say to you, you must have breakfast. And then with all this intermittent fasting, because I can go out and walk like 12,000 steps without even eating anything. But I have to have three cups of tea in the morning. I can't do anything before I've had three cups of tea in the morning. But once I've had that, then I can go off. And then I don't have to eat then until about three o'clock. But I was being good this morning because I knew that I wasn't going to be a room eating meat. And I thought, I don't want to get out and then start craving food. So I'll eat before I go. So I had a, um, I had an egg sandwich, but I did the eggs in the microwave. So there was no oil or anything. And I had, just had two of them in between two slices of, bread with the crust cut off and no margarine that's what i had this morning i don't know why this wasn't supposed to be a dietary um diary it just seems like that at the moment um and then i went out and then what happened right so i was looking forward to going out to some surgeries then i got asked to do um a run through or we do webinar trainings and um i'm the host for some of the webinars so we wanted to do a run through before we do the webinar next week. So there was no point in me going out and about before I'd done the webinar. So I did that. And then about half past one, I went out and just to see um, four practices. And the heavens open, but the heavens open with snow, not with rain. So I had to put my snow boots on. I haven't had to put my snow boots on for, for a couple of years, I don't think. I can't remember last time i wore them i'll have to look back over photographs and see if i can see me itself in it. so yeah so i've um i had to get my snow boots out but luckily enough i am going through menopause so i still didn't wear a coat i'm still as you can you might even be able to see, i'm still getting hot flushes and cannot wear a coat but i wasn't cold apart apart from fingers were a little bit cold but apart from that it was all right um, and then this evening, um, sorting out a holiday for my daughter. I can't, rem can't remember the last time I had a proper holiday. Well, I can. It was around my honeymoon in 2002. <laughs> so I haven't had a proper holiday for all this time. And now my daughter's, I'm booking a, for Rach to go away um, to Greece. In October, so that's so I was doing that, um, and then I had a bit of counsellor work to do because um, that starts in earnest again. Well, it's already it's always, but like the meetings pick up again from after our festive break. So I'm going to love you and leave you and let you have a nice early one tonight. Um, 
because I need an early one. I say an early one, it's still like gone 11 o'clock. Um, but I've got to go out and do, I think I've got seven practices to do tomorrow and I'm hoping that the weather holds off. Not that I don't mind snow, it's just that I don't want to be walking around catching buses around London in the snow because I don't want to have a fall. And I'm at that age now where we have falls. Um, so I'll just tell you a quick story. Just I always do this and then I think of a story. So basically when I was, well, not so long ago, oh, in the summer, um, I had some, what like, because I'm quite big on top, everyone says, oh, you need wide leg trousers. Trouble is, I was born with bilateral club foot, which also means that my feet go inwards. Um, so it's similar to pigeon toes, but it's like the whole of the foot, like from the ankle goes inwards. And as I'm getting older, um, it's starting to go back again. I used to have to wear braces and, and they weren't calipers as such. They weren't like full leg calipers, but I used to have to have night shoes. Anyway, it was all a nightmare. And I had to have that from a baby. And then as I'm getting older, I can see they're going in again. And um, so I had these wide leg trousers on and I went into Asda. Just, actually, I think we were just walking through Asda's in Strood. And where I had the wide leg trousers on and my feet were turning in, this foot caught the um, the trouser, bottom of the trouser from the other one. And I fell over and I went flying and everything came out of my bag. And I was more mortified than I heard. <laughs> this person shout. The ladies had a fall. <laughs> and I was like, I was so, <laughs> like, jumped to my feet to try and explain. I didn't have a fall. I tripped. It was a trip, not a fall. And there you go. So am I going to trip or am I going to fall tomorrow? I hope I don't do either. Because um, then I won't be able to be here to say hello to you, lovely lot. So... I'm going to love you and leave you. I promise I'm going to love you and leave you this time. Have a lovely good night's sleep. And I will see you tomorrow for day nine. Bye-bye.